Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken an another sum on auxiliary and missing views where we have been given the front view, top view and the part auxiliary view. So let's begin. So first we will draw this front view and the top view. The given figure which you can see in the question. So we'll start with the top view. So for the top view first we will draw a straight line. Is the straight horizontal line. Now 60 millimeters below I will mark a point as the height given is 60. So through this line taking this as the parallel I will draw a line parallel to it. Now the length of this line is 62 millimeter. So I will make this line dark. So this is the length 62 millimeter. Now drawing a perpendicular line through this point, extending upward, joining this and now making this line dark. Now as you can see, we have an angle of 60 degree, this is 62 and we have an angle of 60 degree. So if we calculate, so this angle will be 120 degrees. Or if you don't want to calculate the angle 120 degree, what you can do? You can draw a line from anywhere on this line. You can consider a point. So I'm considering a point here. Draw in an angle of 60 degree, which is given in the question. Now I'll take this line as the reference line. And from this point, I'll draw a line extending towards this point. And joining this. So I've got an angle here of 60 degree and if I can measure it on the protractor, you will get 120 degrees here. So you can directly draw or you can use my method. So 120 degree how it came, it is like total is 180 angle and so 60 is here and the remaining is 120. Now next you can see from this point I am drawing a perpendicular line. So drawing a perpendicular line. This thickness given is 15 millimeter. So I am drawing it dark. Taking this as the reference line. Drawing a line from this point. So this is actually a semicircle from the top view which looks like a rectangle shape. You can see it in the part auxiliary view. It is a semicircle. Thickness is 15. Now marking the center point. Now center point there is a hexagonal shape. So, so for drawing the hexagonal shape we have to draw its auxiliary view. So the thickness is 15 again here. But the width we will get it when we draw it in the auxiliary view. So for drawing the auxiliary view I will extend the line from here towards this side as we are viewing from this angle the auxiliary view will be formed here taking the projections from these two points towards this side as at this angle the auxiliary view will be formed now I am taking the projections from the front view also so I will get to know the space how much it will be required to draw the front view and then accordingly I'll draw the auxiliary view. So taking all these projections upward. So here will be the front view. Now completing with the auxiliary view. I'll start it anywhere here. So taking this as the reference line. I'll draw a line here. This thickness given is till the center of the semicircle it is 40 so marking a point here drawing a light line that will be the center of the or the base of the semicircle now the semicircle here the radius given is 40 but if I take this 40 it will be not at the center as the length of this line is this and that is 70 millimeter so in the question the 40 given is wrong 
so i am taking this as the radius it will not be 40 radius it will be 35 so marking the center point here and from the center point i am drawing a semicircle so please remember the in the question radius 40 is given which is wrong now next i'll join this and here we have a thickness again of 15 mm drawing this part dark and as per the question this extension line is not required in the solution so i'm this is this will be dotted and this is a random surface as the other part the extension part is not required so i am drawing it zigzag completing this now you have to draw the hexagon the width of the hexagon given is 20 so on the compass i'll take a radius of 20 millimeter from this center i'll draw a circle as I am drawing the hexagon so I have drawn a circle of radius 20 now as you can see as per the hexagon its corner is on this line so it is starting from here I will cut the arcs on the circle so cut it out see how I am cutting out so I have divided the circle into 6 equal parts and joining this will give me the hexagon with side of 20 millimeter. Now I'll mark the dimensions or the sides of the hexagon. Just marking the dimension here. This is radius 40. This distance is 40. In the question it is given 40, so I have marked 40 the radius, but actually it is 35. You can change it to 40, 35 in the solution. I have kept it 40 but you change it. I am marking the hexagon side as A, B, C, D, E, F. Now taking the projections downward from the edges. Now the thickness of the hexagon given is 15 and the width we have gone it from its projection. So I am making the top view of it. So this is the shape. The center line will also be dark as it is the edge and respective dimensions AF, EB and DC. Marking this as M and L. So according this will be M and L. Now I am drawing the front view. Before that just marking the dimension. This is 60. This width is 62. And this is 15. Taking these projections upward now for drawing the front view. Taking all the projections from the corners upwards to draw the front view. So taking this as the reference line. I am drawing a line here. This height is 15 millimeter. This height is again 15 millimeter. Now as per the question, completing this, this is extended till M point. Now for drawing the front view, first we will draw this hexagon part. Then we will draw the semicircle part. Now for drawing the hexagon, 
C line you can see this DC line intersecting here this is the point so here I am taking the distance on the compass from this line to C keeping the pointer on this DC line and cutting an arc on that same DC line this point I will write it as C dash next from the same point I am taking the distance till D DC point DC line and marking a point on this DC line as in the auxiliary view it is the true shape but the front, front view length will be same as per the auxiliary now taking this distance from here to E on this EB line cutting an arc on that EB line taking this distance keeping on the same line cutting an arc this will be B dash this will be E dash then from A A line cutting the arc on the A line do it properly till the F distance from the F line cutting an arc this will be F dash now this will be the outer shape of the hexagon in the front view so it will look a shape like this so it will not be a proper hexagon as it is at an angle so hexagon has a thickness this is the front part of the hexagon the back part also we have to draw so I am taking a line like this drawing a line from here intersecting till its thickness which the projection is there in the top view and then drawing a line parallel to the slant line making it dark so this will be the thickness of the hexagon its thickness is in the top view so till this line I have extended the thickness so this is how we completed with the hexagon draw this dark After drawing the hexagon, we have to draw the semicircle also. So this semicircle will be an elliptical shape in the front view. So for drawing the semicircle, as semicircle has no edges, we have to divide the circle into equal parts. So before that, I am marking the center of the semicircle. So this will be the center line of the semicircle. This will be L point. Drawing a line through it. Now as I discussed this will be dark this is the edge of the semicircle or the base of the semicircle now your upper part will be the semicircle as I discussed we have to divide the circle or the semicircle into equal parts so I am dividing the semicircle into four equal parts so each angle will be 45 degree so keeping the protractor like this marking a point at an angle of 45 degree one then at a 90 degree 2 then again 45 degree and drawing the lines so I have divided the semicircle into 4 equal parts the more you divide the more points you get to plot the semicircle the curve will be smooth so do it 6 it will be much better now as the semicircle it has a thickness so the upper part I am marking as 1 2 3 4 5 so this line is the outer part that is this will be 1 dash or you can mark it as 1 taking the projections from the 2 so intersecting in its top view taking the projections from this point also so 2 intersecting here this will be 2 3 intersecting in the outer part of the semicircle is 3 4 and finally the 5 now taking this points projection upward towards the front view so now as we did it earlier this is the same from one line so this will be the point first point this will be the behind the hexagon so it will be hidden 
I'm just marking it. This is two distance on the two line. Keep it here. Mark the point. This will be two dash. This will be one dash, which we have marked earlier. Then for three dash, keep the pointer here. Take the distance on the compass. Keep on the third line. As we have not taken the projections upward, now take the projection upward from the third point towards the front view. Keep on the third line. Trace the line properly. Keep the pointer on that line. Cut an arc on the same line. This will be three dash. Then for four also, take this distance. Take the projection of the fourth line also upward. It is there. Mark it on the same line. Just extending the line. And the fifth point. Is already there. This distance, it is the base of the semicircle. It is already there. That is this. Marking that point as five dash. Now you have to join this using smooth curve. That is the French curve, and you have to join. It should be a smooth curve. That is the semicircle. Now, as it has a thickness. Now the backside part of the semicircle, I'll mark the different points. The front side I have marked one, two, three, four. Back side I'll mark as six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now likewise, taking this distance till ten. Now taking the projections, this is ten. So this point will be ten dash. Keeping it here till nine, taking the distance till nine. From here, now I have to take the projection upward. This is the ninth line. Taking the projection upward. Now on that ninth line, keeping the pointer over here, cutting on the same line. This will be nine dash. Then the eight dash. Taking the distance on the compass till eight, this is the intersection point. From that, taking the projections upward, cut on this line. This will be eight dash. Now the remaining points will be behind the outer semicircle, so no need for drawing those points. So this is how the semicircle will be. In the front view, just marking off the dimensions, whichever are given. So this is the direction of the auxiliary view. I'll mark it as O. Finally, writing this is the front view, top view. This is the auxiliary front view, or the auxiliary view. This is x dash y dash line. This will be x y. And we are totally done with the figure. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts. Let me know in the comment section. You can also connect with me on Instagram.